Hi. Let's make a flag in Blender. So, open up Blender. Delete everything by A, X and delete. Go to front view by pressing 1 on the number pad. Shift A to add a plane and rotate it along X axis by pressing R, X and type 90. Press N key and change the dimensions along X axis to 3 meters. Because that is the size of my country's flag. Tab into edit mode and subdivide it a few times. Then add a cylinder as a post for the flag. Scale it. Extrude it until you get a proper shape for your post. Then again add a cylinder and a sphere to create some details for the flag post. Control R to add loop cuts like shown in the video. Then Alt click the faces and right click to separate by selection. Then select the faces and add a solidify modifier. Give a negative value to get desired thickness. Apply the modifiers and select two faces by pressing 3 on the number pad. And extrude it along Y axis. the top and bottom edges to bevel a bit by Ctrl B followed by scrolling the mouse wheel. Right click and select Auto Smooth. Then add a cylinder. I'm adding this cylinder for boolean operation. So scale it and position it accordingly. If your bool tool add-on is enabled, then select the cylinder first. Shift select the object second, press F3 and choose bool tools. Change the operation to difference and apply the modifiers. If the add-on is not enabled, you can do it from edit, preferences, bool tools and tick the check mark. Now, let's model the threads that should hold the flag. 
Tab into edit mode and separate the left edge of the flag. Now you can just extrude it and position it as a thread that holding the flag. If you are happy with the shape, add a subdivision surface modifier. Change the mesh object to curve by right clicking and choosing convert to curves. From the curve properties, give it some depth and resolution. Now we can create the actual flag. Tab into edit mode and select the left edge. Add a vertex group and assign it. Then go to the properties panel and choose cloth. Choose the preset as silk and under shape. Select the vertex group that we have created. And under collision, enable self collision. Now if you play the animation, the cloth will fall. So I'm adding a force field. Shift, A to add a wind as force field. Position it in the proper direction and give the wind a strength of 8000. Now shade smooth the flag and add a subsurface modifier. Now let's UV unwrap it. Tab into edit mode, go to front view, press U key and choose project from view. I'm simply applying materials from Blender Kit. Just select the materials that we need and drag and drop it over the objects. Now split the window and make a window as shader editor. Go to the flag materials and put your own image texture into the base color. I'm using Indian flag here. Shift. A to add a image texture and open your image from your folder. The UV is a bit odd, so I'm unwrapping it one more time. Switch the shader editor to UV editor. Scale and position your unwrapped UV properly. Basically now your flag is done. Now I'm just adding a camera and a HDRI. 
You can change your own camera settings or you can copy mine. I will give the link for the HDRI that I'm using in the description section. I'm giving the flag a bit of alpha value, because cloths will be slightly translucent. Finally set the render settings and render it out as a mp4 file. I hope you learned something. Thank you.